Hey guys, it's Poppy. So I wrote on Facebook a couple of days ago about how I was getting my snake bites done. And yesterday I put up a status saying how it all went wrong and um, I tweeted about it. And a few people were like, well, you didn't really fully explain it. What happened? Basically, the piercing place that I go to, they had a trainee piercing day. Which basically means there are pe trainees piercing you. And you sign a consent form to say, I know that someone that's not qualified is piercing me. If it goes wrong, I can't complain, blah, blah, blah. So there was a boy and a girl that were um, the trainees. And the girl did this side. And basically she pierced it at a weird angle. And you could see the back on the top of um, my lip here. So the guy who owns it was like, okay, she's pierced it at a funny angle. It's fine on the outside, but it's too high on the inside. You can leave it as it is, or we can quickly quickly take it out and redo it before the numbing wears off. So I was like, okay, take it out and redo it. So they redid it. So I had this side pierced twice. Then the boy came in to do this side. And basically I was told beforehand, because they have to tell everyone, have blood vessels everywhere, like veins, obviously, you have them everywhere. And if you were to pierce one, you would piss blood fucking everywhere. So, um, the owner was like, it's a 90% chance that it won't happen. Uh, we just legally, we have to let you know in case it happens and you panic or whatever. So I was like, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, he was like, there's a 90% chance it won't happen. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. So the trainee did this side, was absolutely fine. Took the clamp off, the needle was through. And five seconds later, my face started pissing blood fucking everywhere. Um, they had to take it out because my lips swelled up straight away. I lost so much blood that um, they said they were. I was lucky that I didn't pass out. Um, it was all over. The blood was just all over my face, my hands, my clothes. It was everywhere. And I was out the back of this piercing place for a good 20 minutes, like trying to sort myself out before I went home. Went home with this massive fat lip. It was really awful. But. Um, the guy who owns the shop said that um, when the swelling goes down in a few days or next week, I can go back and have it redone for free and he'll do it himself. It won't be a trainee. So, yeah, I thought I'd just let you all know kind of what happened in full detail. Um, as you can see, my lip's really swollen at the moment, but this is my new lip piercing. Um, yeah, I will have the other side done by next week or something. Um, just comment or like or whatever. If um, you like it or you think I should get the other side done, just let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll put up a video when I get the other side done and I'll let you know how it all went. Okay, thanks. Bye.